I just wanted to do a check-in because I haven't checked in since my surgery. Um, I had surgery. <laughs> it was on Monday, 9-19, so it's been eight days. And, um, sorry, I'm having some stomach issues today. Um, I started full liquids on Sunday, two days ago, and so far I've done okay. Um, I can get down the Premier Shakes pretty well. It takes me about an hour and 15 minutes usually to drink the whole thing, but I'm doing it, uh, trying to do two a day. Um, and yesterday I have to say I didn't do a great job getting in my water, but I'm, I'll be better today. Um, surgery went well. It was, um, I actually had very little pain. I was shocked. It felt like I had done like a five hour core training class. My abs were just really sore. And um, I um, was in the hospital for two nights. I probably could have gone home on night after the first night. My doctor said, do you want to go home? And I was very concerned about being dehydrated. So I said no. And then like five hours later, I was like, oh, I really wish I had said yes. Um, being in the hospital is not fun, especially when you have a roommate and she's quite, she was quite ill um, with Crohn's disease. So it just was, it, that was not good. Um, but it's, I made it through and um, I was walking. I walked three times around the floor on night one the like hours after surgery and I just really focused on walking. My gas was very bad. The stomach, you know, oof, rumblings. Um, so that helped. Walking helps. And I um, did the leak test the morning after surgery, which was terrible. I had a catheter in and for some reason they kept the catheter in overnight. In a way, it was good because then I didn't have to get up to pee, but I mean, who wants a catheter in, right? So that sucked. And then um, the other thing that sucks and I'm so angry about, I'm almost over being angry at it, not really because it's bothering me, is I was sent home with a drain and I don't think a lot of people, I mean, I think my surgery surgeons do that, um, but most surgeons don't. And I would show it to you, but it's kind of gross. It's actually really gross now because it's been there uh, eight days and it's got, it's just gross. So it takes all the fluid from your belly that drains it out into this bulb that sits outside. So I've got like a straw coming out of me connected to a bulb that I have to connect to my clothes or um, hospital volunteers actually make these neck things that you can wear with a little pocket. It's kind of cute, but oh my God, I hate it. It's the, it's the only thing that made me. That made me cry. And then the um, first, like the second night I went for a walk outside, um, I started crying. And I think it's just because I think it's going to be par for the course. I think, you know, your hormones release a lot of emotions. And I just think I can't eat anymore to deal with that. Um, so I'll be crying. And that's fine. I'll be fine with that. Um, my highest weight this year was 259 and I was 227.5 this morning so I would say I've lost I haven't lost a ton since surgery because I'm still quite my belly is huge still it's just it's really bloated and firm um, swollen obviously and uh, they also I learned that they pump your stomach up with carbon dioxide you know to make a big kind of vaulted area for them to work in, which is fine. Makes sense. I mean, I'm not upset about any of this. It's just interesting. Um, I'm glad I'm losing it all. And I suspect I probably put on about 10 to 12 pounds between going, you know, the day before surgery and after surgery, just because you, you're full of IV fluids. I'm going to sneeze. Sorry. And that air. So I'm getting there. Um, I think drinking water is going to help me get rid of a lot of that. And I have to get better at that. I, I'm up to, I, I didn't do, I did about 48 ounces yesterday and I need to be at 64. So I need to go sip again, but I just wanted to check in. I hope everybody else is doing well and I will check in soon. Good luck.